Do a quick recap. So we the one there. I want to hear from the first week. So again, from the first car, right? There's um, safety zone one and safety zone two. Right? Anytime Tristan's in this area here, I can attack. Okay, but if he's down here, and he's putting my biceps, and he's inside control, he's safe here. There's not too much I can do from here, so that's safety zone one. Safety zone two is just straight up, back straight. Again, this half is just rip cage control or whatever. So those are the two positions we're going to be thinking about from a passing perspective. But the start of this message segment is all about attacking from here. So we looked at different methods okay, of breaking, it, uh, breaking this guard down. So again, from here, if he kind of has a common one, there's two, two hands just below the pecs and the ribcage, I can swim my hands inside, I'm pulling with the legs, the two movements that we looked at, and I'm bringing my knees towards my chest and I'm trying to pull them this way, not up top. So from here, as he gets down, I get a um, thumb the strip on the back of the neck, like a cobra grip. Second one controls the, the elbow from here. Now, again, from this position, he does not want to have his hands on the ground, because if he does, I can start all these attacks more than likely when they break his posture he'll be making a frame on me so his hands will be on me if that makes sense <coughs> so and again i have to be nasty here i'm going to really hold his head into my chest and i'm just going to keep him here there's no way that he's going to pass from here um, the other thing i want to be thinking about is when they do break his posture my thumbs guard is on his hips okay so they cross the low when they actually do break his posture and they get him down now, we cross, uh, this means it's harder for him to actually posture. That makes sense. So, like we talked about then, more than likely, for him to posture, he's going to make frames on my body. Yeah? I still have my grips. And what is his goal is, he's using those frames to, to try and like, jack himself up. So he's going to be pushing, and try and get the whole way up to here. Maybe if he gets the whole way up, I have to start again, breaking his posture and getting him down. But our goal is, we're looking for this shoulder jump. So from that position, as he starts to posture, I just control that space, this hand, right? Halfway between one and two, right? It's very hard for me to push this in a little because his hand's still on me. So I do one thing, I bump my hips for a split second, this hand comes off my chest. As I do that, I cut an angle and I jump with my legs to get this shoulder jump, okay? Now, we talked about last night, there's more space here, if my leg is on top, so um, it's just been very easy to turn the shoulder under the ear, just turn it up and get that Whereas, if I'm um, here, with the leg on the bottom, and he tries to turn that shoulder under, it's a little different. This very hand stays where it is. Okay. And then from that position, my left hand is still controlling the tricep. And then last time, we did that from there, it was just being straight in the bottom part. But, Sometimes what can happen is, from this position, if I haven't been high with my hips, they'll just pull their right arm out, the one arm trying to arm back straight, or the right yeah, nice. From there, I still keep head control. I hug the tricep, just to work it up. I was here and here, the second he pulls it out, I let go of the tricep and get two hands in the back of this leg. Then I have to try and shoot from here. Okay, the number one escape from here is him posturing. If I have the head control, he's going to posture to here. And this sucks. So I want that posture now. Now to make it even better, I want to weaken with this alignment. So his spine is straight. The second I turn his head, I put his right ear in my chest and mess up his alignment. Just hold him here. Posture now. Sucks big time. So my left hand controls. Yeah. My right hand grabs the shin. And my, my right foot goes in the hip. Now I lift my hips and shoulder walk back. Space. I don't even worry about bringing this arm. A lot of people try to bring this arm inside to get the triangle. I don't even care about that. This way I can finish it even with the arm not inside. So from there, I'm going to recross my triangle. Yeah, with the flexibles here. I want L shaped feet. And from this position, I want to use my strong muscles to finish. Not my, my uh, adductor flex, which are weak muscles. This one here. So right hand controls, left hand comes into the armpit. I, I get perpendicular to him, so I'm looking into his right ear, and I leg press, leg curl. That's all I'm doing there. Okay, all I'm doing, doing is this. Leg press, when you're doing any gym, the machine, and leg curl. Okay. Another way of hitting this triangle is the way I perpendicular there. 
is from looking straight on. The problem with that is I need the arm across. And from there, I'm squeezing my legs using my weaker muscles. I mean, you will get it eventually. It's more uncomfortable, but I find when you're sparring, that's very hard to get. Okay. Um, I think uh, the perpendicular method using your stronger muscles is called a uh, ram hog. Kind of brought this more into the forefront uh, many years ago. Things are better way So let's take it again from the start, bro. So from here, there's rip cage control. Okay. This is where I want to. So, swim inside, the other way, the other way, um, way of breaking this posture is just getting that through the water. I lift my hip and just drag it across. Yeah. And from there he wants to pull that back, and when he does pull this back, I have my grip. Yeah. And now from there, for him to get back up, he has to make a frame. Yeah. So his hands would probably be on me. Yeah. So as he tries to jack himself up, yeah. from that position, I just bump my hips, push this across, Cut an angle and shoulder jump. Okay, in the shoulder jump position. Looking for the arm bar, and that's what's good. And it just rips that arm clean out. They just hold on this head. Okay, pull it down and then turn it. So messing with this alignment. We're from that position, left hand controls, right hand grabs the chin. Okay, really too close to me now. So I'm going to put my foot on this hip, and the shoulder walk back to create space. I'm going to rock the junction over the top of that shoulder. Again, it's all about snugness. Sometimes you lock a triangle here, and see where my, my junction is on the shoulder, all that um, pressure is going into the shoulder. So I need to take the time walking all of my body and I get this super shoulder. Okay. And from there, right arm controls. As I let go, you can wash it from there again. Yeah. Wash it down. Swim underneath. Now I want to look at the Left hand helps me get perpendicular. 
It's effortless. It's quite a 